up YouTube, Snake One here with a video and this time I'm going to be talking a little bit about my RODI system and why I decided to go with it and talk a little bit about the money and the problems. It's probably already saved me but I haven't actually seen so you can see I got the uh, BRS cheap model does 75 gallons a day. The reason why I went with this one is because it was only $100 and I think $19. And on top of that, I didn't think I'd be needing more than 75 gallons a day produced. So um, it seemed perfect for me since I have a 75 gallon tank. But uh, essentially, I'll let you guys do the research on how these things work. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's four different chambers. One, two, three, four. I believe this one is the color changing dye resin. Once that starts to change, then you know when to change things out. You can see it's turned a little bit brown at the bottom, but I've seen online videos of them being much, much worse. So I ran um, basically my garbage line right down into the drain. This is all in my garage, and then this comes right off my sink into chamber one, and then two, three, four, and then it comes out here. And I, I went and bought a splitter, um, and these two garbage cans here. One is a 44 gallon in the back there. That one holds my salt water. And this one I believe is like a 38 gallon. Got those from Home Depot. Um, did some research on those too. The Brute cans from everything I read, made by Rubbermaid, those ones do not leach chemicals into your water. And uh, so far I haven't had any problems with these containers at all. I picked them up off Home Depot. Uh, I think all in all, combined they were about uh, 60 70 bucks so um, inside I got this PVC pipe here I use that to stir my my salt water mix up but inside I got these float switches from bulk reef supply again the camera's not really focusing in on that there we go but um, essentially how those work is uh, once the float water line reaches the float valve, it pushes it up and it stops the water from coming in. You can see if I push it down, well, there's no more pressure because I turned it off. But that's kind of what will stop it from overflowing. The float switches will not stop your uh, garbage water from coming out through my black line there. But they will stop it from coming out of your blue lines, which is your good water. I mix my salt water up in here about a week in advance. And... Um, I like, I like to let it sit a little bit so it matures. I'm not sure if that helps or not. Um, I've never done it any other way, but I haven't had any problems with my water. So um, for me, I, that's the way I'm gonna continue to do it in, in, until I notice a problem. Some people put a meter on this thing to um, determine your total dissolved solids. Um, you can also use a pressure gauge, I believe, and kind of do some uh, factoring in there and try to figure that stuff out yourself based on the pressure that's coming out. But um, I figured I'd run with it and see if I noticed uh, anything negative in my tank, like any major phosphate levels. My phosphates have always been at less than 0.25 parts per million, so I don't think I have an issue with dissolved solids in my water or... Um, I've never actually done a sample of my tap water either, but again, I've, I've never really had a problem. So um, this thing right here, uh, every time I go to my local fish store, I see people buying fish, excuse me, I mean buying water. And to me, that just seems absolutely ridiculous. I don't even care if it's, you know, $2 for a five gallon jug, add that up over time and it's going to cost you some serious bucks. Plus, hauling it back and forth just seemed like a big pain to me. So that was the primary reason why I went this route. Um, plus, I already pay a water bill. So what am I going to go to the fish store and buy water from them? You know, it, it just didn't make any sense. And I, I like to do frequent water changes. I change about 10% of my water at least every week. And have been doing that since my cycle was completed. And again, I, I haven't had any problems at all. So... Um, I would highly recommend getting one of these. Uh, the $100 you spend on this, you will save not only in buying water, but also potentially from trying to rid your tank of nuisance algae and whatever else you get from the fish store. Even though they say that their water may be RODI or it's clean and pure, I mean, you don't know, especially in this hobby, unless you make it yourself, you don't really know where things are coming from. 
and I, I, I don't like to trust people with my aquarium. And you get so many different answers from so many different people. And I've looked in my fish stores tanks and I've seen some pretty nasty stuff. So if they're willing to let that slide on the fish that they're selling, God knows what's in the water. And there's no bash on my fish store. They've been really helpful in a lot of ways. Just it's not something that I'm willing to chance. So the $100 that I spent on this thing, plus shipping and handling and the containers, well, well, well worth the purchase. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And as always, if there's anything I'm doing wrong or you see anything that I can do better, please let me know.